Well, good morning, parents, and welcome to the weekly roundup. Um, you got the introduction there from Jana Lyra. Uh, we had her here as a special guest uh, yesterday, and she performed for all of our preschool through third graders. It was outstanding. The kids thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, a wonderful time of worship. Uh, we got, as you saw there, we had the teachers up on stage, and they were just they were dancing away, and when we close out uh, the weekly roundup today, you'll see uh, one of the classes that were up there dancing with her. Uh, all the kids had a great time worshiping and just celebrating the Lord, and we can't thank her enough for coming out, and um, it was a wonderful time. The NPR room was completely packed uh, because we did everything we could to get every preschooler through third grader in there, and we had no room left, so... Hey, well, welcome to the Weekly Roundup. This is the Grace Christian School uh, show where we come to you every single week. Just excuse me one second. Um, there we go. Uh, where we come to you every single week and we share with you about what's going on here at Grace Christian School. I'm Sheriff P and I am your host. Well, you got to see what we did yesterday. And the week is, this is a very busy week for us here at Grace. And we're going to be going over some of the things. But I do want to give you a special note. Uh, we're getting more parents dropping off projects for students, asking us if we can call the class uh, to have them come. Well, good morning from Sacramento. Mrs. Carr is on. And yes, you're going to be hearing about that next, that we are uh, live in Sacramento right now. And our uh, fourth graders are there. But uh, many of you are dropping off lunches or projects for your students and asking, hey, can you call my student to come up and get that? We are not going to be calling any more to the classrooms. We have a table set up with uh, some uh, little post-its. You'll be able to put your child's name on a post-it on there or write it right on the bag, and then your child can come up here at break, recess, or lunch to pick up their lunch or their projects and things like that. Uh, that way we're not disrupting classes uh, throughout the day, making phone calls, asking kids to come up to the office. So uh, that's going to smooth and streamline everything for everybody. Well, like Mrs. Lori Carr said, and let the, the cat out of the bag, our fourth graders are in Sacramento at the state capitol, and they are having a wonderful time uh, up there. I've heard that the plane has landed safely uh, without incident, the flight all the way up there. I understand also the weather is amazing, just like it is here, and they are going to have a spectacular time uh, learning about California and all of the great things. Uh, if you are in the lower grades, preschool through third grade, <clears throat> and you haven't had your child go through that trip yet, it is one where they learn a great deal about the state of California. Uh, it is just a wonderful time. Uh, <clears throat> I'm getting texts also from Sacramento, uh, things to talk to you guys about uh, on the weekly roundup. But they're having fun. Both classes, Mrs. Marshall and Mrs. Carr's class are there. Uh, we have a huge group this time. We're on two different buses in two different hotels, and uh, it is, it's wonderful. So uh, it's a great trip to look forward to, and uh, I know your kids will love it when they go. We talk to 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, and they think that's one of the special trips, along with D.C., uh, that they get to go uh, in 8th grade. Well, let's move us on to the spring concert. The spring concert is right around the corner. It is April 25th. It starts at 6.15. It's on the blacktop. You need to make sure you bring a lawn chair with you because there are no chairs out there. Um, it starts at 6.15. Uh, your students can be dropped off in their classes at 5.45. That is the call time, 5.45, because we go live right at 6.15, and your child needs to be here. Uh, I know we've had it in the past where we start, and you get here like, 10 minutes late or something like that, we're already into the production. And in some situations, you might have missed one of the parts uh, that your child needs to go to. I understand, as well as anybody, life can get in the way. So plan to leave early to get here. Uh, another important thing, parents, if you have other younger children or older children uh, that you are bringing with you, the playground is closed. That means all the apparatuses, basketballs, and everything like that. We want to provide all the respect and attention to those students who are performing uh, the spring concert. So there will be tape. And uh, just if you can help us remind all of your other students uh, that the playground is closed. And we'd ask that they sit and uh, watch the program with everybody. So April 25th starts at 6.15. Call time is 5.45. 
You have all received uh, this flyer talks about what the attire is for TK through fifth grade as well as for choir and band. We know it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. The, I sh I've shown you this for the last couple of years. What is that? That's the famous taco rice and beans meal that is so wonderful at open house. You have all received this flyer at this point. Uh, it's a $7 meal for beans and rice and uh, two tacos. You can't beat this. You can't find that price anywhere uh, for this quality of food. Uh, these flyers that went home, they are due back by tomorrow. And with your payment and your student's name, the number of meals that you're purchasing, uh, we have to get this to our, our talker, taco provider so he's able to get the right amount of meat purchased and has the right amount of staffing and everything like that. So here's the flyer uh, that you have received, $7 per meal, and those need to be turned in by tomorrow. Wow, we are already up to 37 people viewing. Uh, it's great. I know we're live in Sacramento also. Next up is PACE. PACE graduation is coming, and that is our Positive Actions and Character Education program that we do with the Cypress Police Department in junior high. It is a wonderful program that is taught by the police department, and graduation is next Wednesday, April 24th at 845 in the multi-purpose room. And if you have a student who's graduating, you know at this point, parents are welcome to come to that. We love to have you there and honor our students as they graduate uh, completing PACE. We also have the opportunity to listen to one or two of the top uh, speeches that were selected independently as the best speeches. Or not, they, were, they were papers that were written that were selected, and then they give the speech on their paper. So uh, that's Wednesday, April 24th at uh, 8.45 a.m. Next up is our Race for Grace sponsor, Pisty Electric. You guys have probably remembered this. They have been a faithful sponsor every year for Race for Grace. They, a, they are a commercial industrial electrical contractor, and they handle any of your environmental, environmental cleanup systems that you have out there. If you need it cleaned up and uh, give them a call, they will happily come out. They are a faithful Grace Christian School family who has sponsored Race for Grace every single year, and we can't thank them enough for what they do for all of the students here at GCS. Well, I've, I've got 30 of you on. We've got three likes, and I've got to tell you, with everything that's going on, that's all that we have for today's weekly roundup. It's a short and sweet and to-the-point weekly roundup, and I am just so blessed that all of you tuned in today. Um, I look forward to seeing many of you at the spring concert next week. And open house is just around the corner. So don't forget to get those taco flyers turned in so that you can have one of those amazing taco meals. I share with you every time that we consider it a privilege to partner with you here at GCS to raise the future of our amazing country. Uh, I just let you know that we pray for you every chance we get. And I just ask in return that you continue to pray for the staff and the faculty here at GCS so that we do God's work on this campus and really do everything we can to empower our students to expand Christ's kingdom here on our campus. Well, parents, I hope you have a wonderful day. It's going to be gorgeous out the rest of the week. I hear we have no rain for the weekend, and our students in Sacramento are going to have a, a trip of a lifetime. So, parents, thank you for tuning in, and I'm going to leave you with this. This is one of our classes that was dancing at yesterday's worship service that we had with Jana. And I got to tell you, we're working out something special for next year to have her back. And you'll hear more about that uh, probably in August or September. Have a great day, parents. And until I see you next time, may God bless the trails you ride. Have a great day. Ready?